A stroll through the old grounds of Augusta's Magnolia Cemetery reveals hidden gems. The cemetery not only represents the history of the South, but the nation as a whole. The 60-acre cemetery has a history itself. Once part of a plantation, the land was sold to the city for $800. The Confederate section of the cemetery has more than 300 soldiers, among them seven generals. Some say the cemetery's best feature is not what's buried in it, but what's growing around it. Walk a little farther down the road and you will find a very old crepe myrtle tree with still glorious purple blossoms. It is believed to be the oldest living tree in Georgia, thriving still in one of the state's oldest burial spots for the dead. Perhaps one of the most unique graves is that of John Martin, a soldier who fought not only British redcoats, but hostile Indians. He died Valentine's Day, 1843, at the age of 105. War veterans are everywhere, including many who fought for the Confederacy. But there are also poets and politicians who served not only Augusta, but also the state. 